Hello beautiful people. I found this video interesting so I just wanted to go over it a little bit with you all. It's been 30 days we've been married. You haven't changed nothing into my name. You yes. haven't put the house in my name. You haven't put the insurance in my name. And then you got like everybody else is on as a beneficiary. Of I can't put <laughs> Okay, so this couple got married 30 days ago. And so the wife is pointing out the fact that she has not been added as a beneficiary and he, or he has not changed his beneficiaries yet. No, this is who I married 30 days ago. It takes time to do all like, that. It's right? like you're not even taking this marriage serious. It's like you taking it too like serious right now. Still, it's like you still attack me. Hey, do you like a little look, 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 boy look, check me, check me out. My little mama boy. A little look, mama's look, boy. Look, do you love me or you love the money? Which one you? What, what, what are you here for? What are you here for? Listen, like I said. Oh, what you I'm on TikTok interested. or something? What are you on? I'm not interested. In okay, so. She is right. She has a point. It does not take that long. It's just a matter of a phone call most of the time, them sending you the paperwork and you faxing back the um, the new beneficiaries or a change of beneficiary form. Within 30 days of marriage, I do agree with her that that should be done. However, um, if this guy wants to keep his mother and fa uh, father and brothers on there, that's fine. You can have as many beneficiaries as you'd like. However, as his wife, he made her his wife. She should be a beneficiary because if anything happens to him, she has the legal rights. She has the say of what to do and how to do it. Now, this is the problem. I don't know if if she has access to any other money or if she's on any accounts or anything of that nature. I don't know what she has access to. However, she's not a beneficiary on any of the life insurance policies. She has no say on that whatsoever, but the responsibility will be on her, or at least I should say, um, folks would be looking at her as if the responsibility is on her as the wife to take care of any final arrangements or anything pertaining to him. I, I feel her frustration. However, these do look like crocodile tears a little bit. And I don't know, you know, the discussion or the family dynamics. I don't know if she gets along with the in-laws and things like that, because it could be a little bit of that going on. However, this man made her, um, you know, he made a statement to her or a promise or whatever it, it, it may be that he was going to take care of her. And of course, that's that's his job, of course, as the house band or a husband. Um, but for him to be dragging his feet this long in, in taking care of that, that paperwork, that, that could be, and should be done within 30 days, because I bet you any amount of money that she has already changed her name and started the process of changing her name. And we all know as married women that that is a, that, that is a process. You have, you know, you're changing your legal name on your birth certificate, your life, not your birth certificate, sorry. You're changing your name on your license, your social security card, all of your credit cards, um, changing your name with work uh, on your banks. You know, that it's, it's, it's a lot. But most women, you know, I, I think would, would have that done within, you know, 30, 60 days for the most part. You, you can't be serious right now. That's not Who are you? It's not who's I, who are you? Who are you? Uh, you, you? 
Yeah, so like I said, she's she's quoting the Bible saying that a man should cleave to his wife. So I bet you any amount of money, there's some issues between mama and law and, and her. You know, I don't know if mama didn't want him to marry her or whatever the case may be. But it's some issues in there and um, maybe he doesn't fully trust her. However, he did he did just make this woman his wife 30 days ago. So that's that's really, really fresh. And um you know, that, that's really soon to be having issues like this. You tripping about the paperwork right now. you really care about me, I would be taken care of. I'm going to take care of you. What am I here for? We just got back up like that. No. You worried about some paperwork? No, no, no. Go, go sit down. Go sit down. Go sit down. I feel like he's gaslighting her also. Uh, he's saying you worrying about some paperwork, but the paperwork is a big deal. Because again, I'm pretty sure he wants her to change her name pretty swiftly. Um, and at the same time, I mean, th this is this is really not right, not fair, because I can say this right here. There are people that don't even make it to their, their wedding day. There are people who pass away before the ink is even dry on their marriage licenses and certificates. There are people who pass away the day of. There are people who pass away the next day. People who pass away in a month after getting married. And, and you wouldn't believe some of the different scenarios and situations people find themselves in for dragging their feet on taking care of important documents like life insurance and getting a will and all of those things in place and getting names on deeds and, and, the, and the issues that a lot of spouses have to actually go through because the paperwork is not in order. Same thing I said, if something happens to him, she's going to be left holding the bag. And guess what? Mama, daddy, brother, everybody, they can hold on to whatever they are um, getting from insurance policies because people, they're going to be looking at the wife like, oh, she was just in it for this or she's not going to take care of his final arrangements or take care of his business or responsibilities because mom and, mom and brothers don't have a say when it comes to um, certain things. She she's digging a little a little low low blows here. You know, she's in the in the you know, midst of being angry and upset about the situation, but she's doing some low blows. However, I don't know how mom is treating her. So she says the mom in law is giving her faces and attitude when she sees her. So obviously mom doesn't like her. And um, you know, the hubby, if if you know, he is still weighing mom's opinion and and feelings over his wife, he's definitely in the wrong because they have become one and, and the wife is correct on that. I look like a what? I look like a what? All I until you, until you put me on everything, we not married. This is not real. Give my ring back then. How no, about that? Take the ring, ring off. No, we ain't married. Take the ring off then. No, take the ring off. That's a promise. And even ain't no promise. Still not you a you a liar. This is just straight lying. And when I get before the judge, I'm gonna let the judge know that you. Hey, you gonna give my last name back then? You wanna give my last name back? See now he's being petty, talking about you gonna give me my last name back then, like. 
<laughs> See what I'm saying? He expected her to change her last name. However, he isn't moving his feet on um, taking, where, taking care of important documents that they should take care of as a married couple. This is a <laughs> they are really throwing some low bo low blows and being a little bit petty here. However, the t the main topic of this conversation is a very important one. Now he's belittling her because she's bringing up an important uh, topic. Go back to the hut he got. Well, apparently he likes hut girls because, I mean, he married her. All right, this this is this is my my little two cents here now. A couple before they get married should talk about money, sex, children, in-laws, and religion. They need to be talking about the different dynamics and what they expect out of each of those five topics. And I agree with her. Even even before you get married, I mean, you should be planning on when and what you're going to do and how you're going to execute it um i don't know if this video is staged it does look a little staged but it does bring up a very important um a very important topic and situation that we need to deal with especially as a community we need to get our financial houses in order our life insurances in order um if you're with someone that you don't trust or things are shaky whatever the case may be you need to designate someone that you do trust and that you feel is going to be responsible to take care of your affairs when you are gone um and if especially if you have children young children that are going to be left behind you want to make sure that they are taken care of i don't know if this woman is a gold digger um to a certain degree it doesn't even matter because he just married her 30 days ago and um this is this is something that they really need to work out because this is a fresh marriage and and this is a very uh important situation that they need to deal with because she is the wife just like he is the husband and they didn't address the fact whether or not um, she has added him as a beneficiary on her policies. But it sounds like she has because he didn't bring it up. And I think that, you know, those things need to be reciprocated in a relationship, in a marriage especially. And um, that's just my two cents on this video. I hope you all got something out of this. Uh, if you're dealing with a scenario or a situation like this and know someone who is, um, it's good to just look at it from both sides and and um, for us to do the right thing to make sure that we get our houses in order in every way.